All right, Game Changers, welcome back to another video here today. We got a little catching up to do. Now, those of you guys who are originals to this channel will know that it always started off as a Call of Duty channel, more or less, and I always did gameplay commentary. Yes. And then guys, somewhere down the line, COD fell off for me. I lost a passion for it. Skill-based matchmaking had a lot to do with it. I'm not even going to lie. And getting into lobbies with my casual friends always felt like a chore because matchmaking never gave us a break. Always pairing us up with sweats of my caliber every single match. I'm tired of suffering. I'm tired of suffering. I mean, I would love it if it was a mixed bag with sweats here and there, but not every single match. It gets really, really tired, really frustrating. And I mean, if I was by myself, fine, even though that was frustrating too, since Call of Duty used to be a casual shooter, but it just got to be too much. And then on top of it all, I wanted to try something different with the channel. So then I tried the other style of videos that I currently have, and I found some relative success and they were some of the most viewed videos on the channel. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to start this new direction on my channel. And thus you saw uh, the different style of videos and no longer the gameplay commentaries. So fast forward to now, I still enjoy making those videos. So I created an entirely new channel dedicated to that called Game Changing Player, which is basically my name, GCP, spelled out. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to that channel and you can enjoy those type of videos. I'll provide the link in the description to make it easier to find. Yes! But for those of you that subscribed to this channel initially for the gameplay commentaries, you never really asked for those style of videos, but you guys were always so supportive of whatever I did on the channel. So I'm internally grateful for that. But in some fashion, your boy will be making a return to the videos that you subscribed to me for in the first place. And I will try and revive everyone's favorite series you pick i play yeah! Yeah! now i do want to let you guys know that i'm not a fan of or have not gotten back my love for call of duty or passion after this new modern warfare beta dropped because of skill-based matchmaking but in some way or another i will talk about call of duty and maybe other games as well overall though it's gonna be game focused do it just do it. By the way, my Activision account was hacked, so the gameplay is mine, but my Activision name is different. It's so hard getting a hold of Activision when it comes to support, and I can't change my name back to GCP yet in the gameplay because you have to have a name change token, which only comes along every six months. I know, so stupid. The worst part is you don't even know when that is. So I'm left in the dark. I don't know when I'm going to get that token to be able to change my gamer tag back. It's, it's it's the dumbest thing. So as of right now, my gamer tag in Call of Duty games is Tez. <laughs> Such a stupid name. The hacker had changed my classes too, and it was actually very frustrating. But anyways, my Activision account, I enabled two-factor authentication. So now it should be a much more difficult time trying to hack it. Come on, man. How many push-ups you want to do here, pal? Now let's talk about Call of Duty. Oh, man. Call of Duty. The game I fell in love with, or the series I fell in love with, and the very first game that I played in the COD series was Black Ops 1, which started it all. And if you go back, way back on my channel, you can see that Call of Duty Black Ops 1 was the very first Call of Duty game that I started making videos on. And I have played every single, almost every single Call of Duty game since then, up until I would say Vanguard. Vanguard was the very first Call of Duty game that I did not purchase and I did not get make videos on. I stopped at Black Ops Cold War. And up until that point, I enjoyed all of the Black Ops games, including Black Ops 4. All of them were my favorites in the whole series of Call of Duty, Black Ops, and even Treyarch, I would say, because Treyarch is responsible for the Black Ops series, um, was my favorite. I loved Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, and Black Ops 4 in that very order. 
but Black Ops Cold War was totally different and the vibes that were once there, the passion that was once there for Call of Duty started fading around that time as well and the skill-based matchmaking at that time was <laughs> very, very high. I mean, honestly, to me, I felt it most when it first started in Advanced Warfare and then I think when it really started falling off was Modern Warfare 2019 when they started catering to the campers. That's when I really felt like Call of Duty was starting to decline and it was just not going to be the same that it was before. Back before where it would encourage rushing, encourage movement in Call of Duty was somehow lost and the formula that they were trying to cater to or actually conform to was that of noobs and campers. And you know what? You know what killed casual TDM in COD especially or multiplayer in general was the creation of BR or Warzone. The Battle Royale. That's when everything changed and our whole perspective of your classic multiplayer that everybody loved, that veterans really loved, was gone forever. And I think everything now is so focused on their BR that they forgot what made Call of Duty so great in the first place, which was the traditional multiplayer. And now they are focused more on the BR and the sales that that generated and the popularity, of course, of br or battle royales which is undeniable by the way it, it really changed everything for call of duty and that's why they focused a lot more on that and got away from the thing that made call of duty so popular in the first place and made it so great in the first place which made it this casual shooter that everybody could pick up and play we lost that forever i think and unless they return to that i don't think call of duty can ever be the same <laughs> Well, I've been playing so many other games out there such as Apex Legends, Fortnite, Smite, Rogue Company, Rocket League, and of course single player games when I don't feel like competing because first and foremost, I am a gamer overall and I enjoy a plethora of games out there and I, I just have a great time with it. I'm a gamer at heart and that's always been uh, core to who I am and I will always have that even in my other videos on my Game Changing Player channel. That's why you notice gameplay in the background because that's what I have a passion for. And at the same time, I want to cover different topics. So gaming will always be like a core essential part of who I am and what I do, even though life has gotten in the way of all of that. And I don't have as much time as I once did because I do have a job. I have other priorities in life and I do touch grass, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, I don't do this full time. Um, and I do other things and you know, I, I think you should have other things going on I definitely think you should have a balance and you should not be just so consumed by gaming Especially when you don't monetize it or it's not a source of income, especially when it's not a full-time gig uh, Then especially you need to focus on other things and focus on your life other than gaming because gaming isn't everything It could be an essential part of your life. Don't get me wrong but you definitely have to balance other things out in life and those are very very important especially time with family that's one thing i cannot stress to you enough time with family is one of the most precious things in life that you can never get back and when you regret that oh man that will be one of the biggest regrets that you have but at the same time if for example you are a content creator because i know quite a few of you guys are content creators yourselves and you guys make gameplay commentaries and make videos on gaming if you want to have it as a passion as a side gig that you want to uh, create videos definitely go for that for sure go for that when you're not working and you have already covered some of those first focused things that you need to cover like paying your bills and focusing on family and stuff like that but on the side continue to make this um you know a passion of yours and something that you want to do as a side hobby um, until it can become full-time or you start monetizing it and you can focus on it a little bit more but like i said you need to focus on those other things first once you guys got those things covered then definitely put your time and effort into this yes sir this nigga spitting Damn, nigga. Game changers, I don't know how consistent I'm going to be with two channels now to handle because um, <laughs> that's quite a bit. But I am focused on my game changing player channel just a little bit more. But at the same time, I don't want to neglect this channel and I will try as best as I can to be consistent on here as well. That lovely. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to let you guys know and update you guys that game-changing player GCP 
the gameplay commentator is back on this channel so if you guys have subscribed to me for initially the gameplay commentaries you can be excited for that for those of you guys who subscribe to me for the other style of videos please subscribe to game changing player again that link is in the description below and the current videos that i used to have on this channel will be all on that channel but anyways thank you guys so much for the support and i'm excited and we'll see where it goes from here but with that being said this is gcp signing off